Having a proper, correctly sized handsaw in the garden will really make light work when you're clearing up and neatening. And with a number of saws to choose from, it boils down to firstly, what type of cutting are you doing? And secondly, what size saw is suitable for your needs? Bow saws get their name from the archer's bow. Now don't let this small saw fool you. Have a look here. It also takes a standard hacksaw blade. Suddenly, I have a multi-purpose saw. Now the gap between the blade and the handle also increases with blade length. And this is important when deciding what to purchase. This saw will only be able to cut a branch with a maximum thickness of 100 millimeters, whereas this one will cut up to 200 millimeters. That is where the symmetrical design comes into play, as two people are able to operate the saw with ease. Just make sure that your sawing partner is pushing and pulling as much as you are. The teeth on these blades are sharpened on both sides, so the saw is cutting on both the pull and the push motion. A triangular bow saw is designed for single person use and is therefore more compact and lighter than the larger Ovate models by not having the double ended holding position. These models come with a handy blade guard and are just as easy to use. Now pruning saws are different and these are designed for single handed use to make neat smooth cuts on branches where a pair of secateurs are too small. After cutting, Carefully wash the blade and let it dry and give it a quick squirt of Q20 or Q30. And if you're wanting to know more about the Q range, check the link in the description below. Always make sure when purchasing a new blade that you match the length of the saw you have as these blades are available in a number of sizes. Now remember, builders have all of these saws plus more gardening equipment in store or online at builders.co.za. For more videos like this one, be sure to check out the blog on the website. Get to Builders, get it done.